Hey, download the new TestTube app for iOS. You can find it for free in the App Store. It's a great video player that also lets you make playlists, share, leave comments, and do all sorts of other things with your favorite test tube videos. And we want to hear your feedback about it, so when you download it, leave us a review, will you? And now, on to the show. Hello, and welcome to Don't Be Dumb. I'm Josh Clark. Thank you for joining me. Have you ever heard of the Fermi Paradox? Well, now you have. See, back in the 20th century, an astronomer named Enrico Fermi wondered where all the aliens are. The universe has 76 trillion stars, which is not dirty, plenty of which have planets that could sustain life on them. If even a tiny, minuscule fraction of all the planets that can support life in the universe developed intelligent life, and many of these planets are billions of years older than Earth, so life started developing on those planets far earlier than it has here, and intelligent life eventually evolves to be capable of interstellar travel, then the universe should be pretty much overrun with alien civilizations, and the Earth should have been visited by them many times over. But it hasn't. Hence the paradox. There are a lot of answers to the Fermi Paradox, like, for example, civilizations are destined to wipe themselves out before they become capable of interstellar travel, or perhaps there aren't any alien civilizations out there, or maybe we don't understand reality correctly, or maybe the aliens know that we're here and they don't want to contact us. That one hurts. So the next time somebody asks you where the aliens are, you tell them about the Fermi Paradox and set them straight and tell them Josh sent you. Thanks for joining me. Do you have a suggestion for an episode of Don't Be Dumb? Leave it in the comments below. You can also like this video or subscribe or share it. I don't care. <laughs>